Introducing the all new Corolla. At about 10 o'clock this morning, Guam Fire responded to a call of a drowning incident down in Tumon behind the Fiesta Resort near the old Seahorse Restaurant. Guam Fire spokesman Lieutenant Ed Artero says they got the call at 10.04 a.m. and within minutes, medics arrived on the scene. By the time our units arrived on scene, uh, the person in the water was pulled out by lifeguards from the area and they were already doing CPR when we got there. Uh, we took over the scene and did CPR at the scene and then continued CPR en route to the hospital. G4S security officer Rodney Roby tells PNC he was not far from the scene when he heard sirens go off. I was at uh, Matapeng Beach and I heard sirens, so I followed them. They came down with a four-wheeler and I followed down here and when I came down here, there was the male individual was already on the beach side with two Fiesta uh, employee workers. Did he look like he came from he, the waters? He yeah, he had, a, he had his fins on and his snorkel. Our terror explains two Russian tourists noticed a man snorkeling in the water who appeared to be lifeless. They notified Fiesta Resort authorities who sent two of their lifeguards to pull the man out of the water while 911 was called. Fiesta Resort General Manager Jeff Schweizer was at the scene but did not provide comment. From what we gather, is a male in his 40s he was supposedly snorkeling in the water and he was being observed by two other tourists and after realizing that he wasn't moving uh, for a while, they, they alerted the lifeguards uh, the, uh, along the beach and then the lifeguards went and grabbed him and pulled him in. This is the second drowning incident in Guam waters in mere days. On Sunday, 43-year-old Christine Ramisho died after drowning in the Maso River during a hiking trip to Carlos Falls.